So recently we were given the behind the scenes information towards the strong likelihood of new Smiling Critters content. Some sort of second episode likely meant to reveal new information about all of the Smiling Critters that we weren't clued into before. This all started following Mob Entertainment's official statements made, as they recently told us, would y'all be interested in more behind the scenes and unused art for the Smiling Critters? It's likely going to connect to the leaks we've already seen behind the scenes as well. The fact that the company actually originally cut the appearance of every single character so far having their own sort of houses. New backgrounds and concepts that they'd be able to easily explore, unlike anything we ended up seeing in the first VHS video at the very least. We're told specifically there was an entire different opening to the show, connecting to the behind the scenes footage were shown by Amber Loves Bugs and some of the other animators behind the project that was originally supposed to show all of the Smiling Critters houses, with a comment that they're open to requests as to which houses would end up being revealed to the public next, which is where the potential for this follow-up episode started as introducing the idea of new secrets tied to each of the characters we weren't supposed to know could be what ends up fueling the video being made in the first place. With all this in mind, all we'd have to know is what we'd actually be expecting to see in this video. Along with everything the actual creator behind the Smiling Critters VHS actually told us. It turns out she was questioned on a similar topic of Scrap's concepts and designs for the original video that could be making a reappearance in some way, as a fan a little while back asked her about any scrapped critters that didn't end up making the cut, to which we're told that she wouldn't be able to know enough to officially confirm or deny the possibility. A lot better of a response than slapping a big ol' NDA on the idea, but it turns out more definitively, we're told of the possibility of a new version of a Smiling Curves VHS video that we'd end up seeing in Chapter 3. Tying to this very possibility brings our focus more on the antagonist of the show himself, Catnap, it turns out. Specifically, I have a feeling that Catnap was actually a calm, mellow character in the show, but in the episode we see on the official Mob Entertainment channel, someone corrupted the tape, and that's probably why it all went downhill after he showed up which is actually backed up by the very idea that the Smiling Critters cartoon seems to be more of a children's show in the first place. To have this much depicted chaos and corruption highlighted in the episode we ended up seeing could very well mean that there's another version out there, as we're told of, that wasn't actually tampered with. A bootleg version of the Smiling Critters episode makes a lot of sense. It also makes sense that someone from the inside likely sent the bootleg to the media soon after the announcement recall of the toy catnap, which all comes together to connect with the idea of these strange new concepts making a return on the official Mob Entertainment page, as well as the idea that they outwardly express how open they are to the idea of working on new projects that the fanbase is in support of. And judging by the vast support for this thing appearing in some way, at the very least, could be what ends up pushing the company for more outside of this new version of the VHS. More concepts and ideas to come surrounding the Smiling Critters depiction that we ended up seeing the first time around. So everything in mind heading into this third chapter of the game, we're given more info about the actual behind the scenes process by the developers for the game themselves. Specifically, we're clued into the idea of a new sort of game over screen that we'd end up seeing pop up after not making it through a certain part of the game, as a fan talks to one of the developers in a more joking manner at first about the chapter 3 game over screen will say, Lamau get wrecked scrub, to which we surprisingly see the response of, actually, there was one that was a placeholder and it said something like that. Telling us, at least in the development phase, Mob Entertainment are leaving in a lot of strange stuff we're supposed to pick up on in the form of small easter eggs. This of course also included the lemon that the developer behind the game ended up telling us was placed there by him going back into the files of the game without actually telling anyone. Like a funny little secret we were meant to go in and find that likely connect to this third chapter of the game as well. And in terms of our bigger news for the game, however, something pressing regarding what we're told for the upcoming chapter 
is the actual console release possibility. Will players be able to play on both Xbox and PlayStation? As in the case of the first chapter, we finally received progress in terms of allowing more of the player base to actually access some of the early Poppy Playtime games. And in terms of this new game, a fan reaches out to one of the team members asking, is chapter 3 going to be on PC only? As obviously the accessibility for the game is going to be pretty important here, to which we see the interesting response of, I can't answer that question, but the idea is to release all of them in several platforms, like we've said already. Cluing us into the idea of all the chapters already made, including this upcoming new one, to all be additionally made for both PlayStation and Xbox users, as well as PC. But in terms of everything new to the franchise, we're also introduced to an actual manga being made for Poppy Playtime. Poppy Playtime Japan is about to drop peak on us, an entire one-shot manga dedicated to Huggy Wuggy, telling us what we'd be expecting to see with this new edition, and what it could potentially tell us about the series as a whole. We get an early look into some of the work in progress for the final version, with what appears to be more insight into the first chapter of the game specifically. It released December 28th, as the main characters head to the Toy Factory to solve the mystery of the Toy Factory. Popular characters are also said to be appearing, and there are many exciting developments that we'd be expecting to see with it. We're additionally clued into more of the information we're meant to be expecting for the upcoming second gameplay trailer, as we've been anticipating news for its release for quite some time now. Recently, we're given new details that likely explain everything we're meant to be actually seeing in it, it turns out. As a member of the fanbase comments, the gameplay trailer we got now was probably put together real fast and isn't the gameplay trailer Mob has been working on for six months or so, cluing us into the idea that this upcoming second trailer for the chapter is going to be a lot more in-depth and overall be a lot better than the first one was. This idea is backed up by the developers confirming that this trailer is meant to be coming out shortly before the game itself is actually done, telling us more things will be fully polished off further down the line by then. Many people have been coming forward with complaints and issues about bugs and such found in the first trailer, with the grab pack not necessarily working as it should be, along with the error found with Kissy Missy's character, telling us there'd still be a lot of work that the developers would have to fix up more. They need some more time to fully get everything ready for us. But more along the lines of what we're told for Chapter 3 itself, it turns out developers have gone out of their way to showcase the types of things we're meant to be looking for when the game comes out. Little easter eggs and secrets actually being placed within the upcoming chapter that are told to us to be connecting into the previous chapters of the game as well. Only easter egg you'll end up finding in chapter 3 is a continuation of previous ones, which actually helps us put together what exactly we'd be expecting to see with these easter eggs in the first place. And I put everything together we know about the situation and new information we're recently told about the smiling critters as well in this video right here. So for the full story, make sure to check it out.